Welcome back, Murlocs Denizens, to another episode of Murlocs Den and the final unboxing, hell yeah, of the mystery boxes. The boxes that are a mystery, the mystery boxes. So, let's grab that last one. This one, as you can see, is very long. So, I will open it from this end. Good player. Exciting. Alright, what's in the box? Puff packets! Yeah! Puff packets! Okay, I know the first thing I'm getting out, and that's mainly because it's on top. We have a weapon! Oh! And YouTube, don't freak out, laugh weapon. Yeah, not, not the yeah, real yeah. weapon. No. Laugh weapon for friends. friends. So, ooh, it is a good beginner sword. Very much so. There's a little tag in too. Ready for battle. If I'm not mistaken, this is one of the early lines of epic armory swords because they've got the leather wrap there. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of Epic Armory's ready for battle um, lines. So Quite an old line, actually. Around about, I remember when I started LARPA about um, five years ago, people were still buying these. Um, yeah, I think my LARP sword was one of the Ready for Battle ones. First one I owned. Yeah, I was right. There we go. As you can see, Epic Armory. Yeah, they're very good. Beginner's sword. And they're not too expensive normally either. Yeah, so. usually these cost around about, um, ooh, it's a 75 centimeter sword. So good for a short sword, actually. Or yeah. if you're learning sword and shield. Yeah, it's a very good start. Could start a weapon. So, yeah, that's actually our first one. That is actually really nice. Yeah. And for those out there that don't know about these that are new to the channel, pretty much. These specific ones, unlike other brands, they're actually uh, multiple layers of foam glued on top of each other with the core in the center and then painted over with latex. And this one's painted off with shiny latex, so it's got glitter in it, as you can see on the light, if you can. If not, you'll see it in the close-up. Yeah, it's quite nice. They're pretty good in the hand to use. So, yeah, yeah. all in all, a good starting off sword. More puff paper. All right. Pick. Go reach on in there. Get in there, all nice and bad. What do we have here? Ah. Oh, I think that's in pairs. Yeah. That will be better. Yeah, there's a whole long way. Some wrist braces. So, yeah, these are basic just wrist braces for um leather. One thing I've Seeing that they are leather, one thing I will suggest is um, leather does tend to crack when you when you bend it too much. Um, my suggestion would be to either, if you have experience in this, uh, put a bit of warm water on it to make it a bit more pliable to form your wrist. But no, these are actually pretty decent. So they got the thick layer on top and a thin layer underneath to curl around and attach. Yeah, so definitely... Some beginner armour. Yeah, yeah, so if you're just starting out, they are not a bad look. Ooh. Whoa, what be that? I don't know. A small box. Ooh. The suspense is killing me. Oh, I didn't let you read that. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing from our friends at House of Warfare it is a small leather belt. So as you can see, brass buckle, nice thin, no details on it, just basic leather belt. And it's very long. I wonder what length it is. There we go, 150 centimetres long, so a metre and a half. That's cool. It'll be a 
Another good beginning thing to have in any this medieval box is just, set. I think this box is just full of good basic beginner stuff, a lot. Yeah. Which is what you want, really. Yeah, I've claimed that. <laughs> Alright. So I'll pick something out for you. There you go. We'll be getting down to the bottom of the box. Oh, yeah. That's a good Ooh. dandy. That definitely will come in handy. We have the old sword frog. Ribbit. Ribbit indeed. <laughs> Cool, so yes, it will hold your LARP weapon at your belt. Very, very handy. I think it will have to be adjusted a little bit to fit this one. That's why it's actually got the, um, has the, tires, the strings so. on it. Yeah, for a... You won't have to carry the weapon with you everywhere, which is handy. Yep. And there you go. I'll grab this. That's big. You yeah. yeah. have a small suede pouch. And that's Pouches. Uh, Always good uh, to keep yeah. things in, whether it be your mobile phone, pardon me, currency or whatever. Anything, yeah, anything you need to carry. So having a little pouch. Always very, very useful. Ooh, canvas cloak. Oh, we have a cloak. This one's from Mythalon. Ooh, they're always good. Might have to stand up to show that one. So, you got a nice brass buckle on the front. I actually feel that is nice. It's actually very soft. A nice crimson red cloak. Very, very nice. I can be the little red riding hood I always thought I was. Yeah. Alright, so that was a good up there. So now we're gonna give you guys the close-up tour and also one of us modeling it. Yeah, so let's cut to some soft accessory weapon cloak music. <laughs> enjoyed it yeah so as you can see this is all that came into in this last mystery box so we got a cloak a sword for someone to win in the giveaway and some weapons accessories belts frogs and even some armor yeah I reckon this is gonna be a good giveaway I think so too so pretty much what we're going to do with this giveaway is Isaac and I are going to pick through a couple things that we want to keep, but we're going to be doing two giveaways. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to, at the end of this video, since it's later in the series, um, we'll be drawing it a week from now, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. We um, might set it as a medieval slash LARP themed giveaway one and the other one a Viking themed. So if you were to get everything for your new character or whatever from the kit, it'll all work together. Yep. And one idea that my wife gave me was instead of just showing up and giving it to someone is put the stuff in random mystery boxes for them to unbox. Oh. So they don't know what is in the box. Oh. They will unbox their own mystery box. That's exciting. Keep the mystery alive. Indeed, indeed. Um, 
So yeah, pretty much we will be doing the drawing in a week from now. So keep an eye on our Instagram, our Facebook, well, my Facebook page and Isaac's Facebook page if you have them there. Um, but mainly keep an eye on this channel. The night of the drawing, we will be doing a live stream on the Instagram um, channel. So pretty much, yeah. yeah we'll... we'll be drawing the winner and going and giving this to the winner in person. Yeah. If they are local. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to drive down to Melbourne and risk going in quarantine. Yeah, well, <laughs> we can't drive there really at all currently. That might be a bit hard. We will at least contact you and get your details if you are not local. And um, send it out to you. Alright. So, I think that ends this video. Yeah. I guess we will. See you next time. See you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe hit that notification bell so you get notified for new videos. Doing those three things really helps the channel grow. And don't forget to follow us on our other social medias which are Instagram and Facebook. The links to those will be down in the description below. And until next time, don't forget to live it. Have a good one.